Hyper Propellant is an incredibly powerful overclock that I hope everyone who unlocks it tries it out. What Hyper Propellant does is turn your standard grenade launcher that does basic damage to a railgun that does obscene amount of damage that can even make detonators cow in fear. I mean, just look at the damage, that's insane. This overclock is definitely one of my favorites for a reason, and I can't wait to show it off in today's video. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, uh, time to give the Dreadnoughts the finger. <laughs> Ever since I've learned about Hyper Propellant, and that just turns your grenade launcher into a railgun, and then they released Rivaltech, like, this just looks so much like the finger from Resident Evil 3. And that was my whole intention behind it. I just love how this looks. Hyper Propellant is just such a fun overclock. It just straight up is just like, mm, yes, time to railgun. Dave Leachin. Activity. More like falling activity. Oh. Go, I said she's go. Oh, my first t test subject. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my second one. Show me that weak point. Show me that weak point. Boah. Show me it. Open your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Get absolutely wrecked. You're in a side breeder. Was that a cave leech? Yes, it is. Thought so. I was going to say, the, the loot bugs almost kind of sound like the cave leeches at the end of their their noise file. Oh, there was another one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Festive Bosco. <laughs> Even though it's November, I'm already getting Bosco ready for Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, I, I actually had to buy my, my Christmas gifts early because I'm getting all of my friends gifts. Ah, oh, nice. The pushover. I'm getting all my friends' gifts. Oh, of course there's just a bunch of bugs as I'm doing this. Why wouldn't there be? Steve? Steve, I need you. Oh! I was right next to my face. Come on, Dreadnought. You're a pushover and you know it. Ooh. Pop. <laughs> Pop. Oh my god. Half health. You are one easy boss fight, I must say. I don't know why the Glyphid Dreadnought gets so insane on has five four players, but then on like solo, he's just like, oh yes, I am the slowest man alive. Pop. <laughs> it like forces you to do four phases with the mod hazard five too. It's like, hey man, you're killing this boss way too fast. And that's the whole point of hyper propellant. Get the hell out of here. Uh, poor Glyphid Dreadnought. He used to be so, so feared amongst all the miners. Now he's just a pushover. But yeah, no. I had to buy Christmas gifts early because I'm getting all my friends' gifts. Me and my girlfriend are getting all of our D&D friends' gifts. Cannot wait to show everyone what I got. What I got them. It's gonna be cool. And it's gonna be a lot of money. Uh, but, eh. It's worth it. Oh, another one, you say? Hey, you. Hey. Hey, you. I missed. I missed. This cave leech just... I see them. All the... What? Hey, yo. I'm just gonna stand right here. Stop that. Meatball. Oh, I'm out of my railgun. Well, I'm gonna stand perfectly in the middle and let all these guys die. Get the Nana side breeder, get him! Uh, yeah. If you didn't know that, you can just stand in the middle of this, the, uh, the Omen Tower, and none of the bugs can get you because you're on an elevated surface that they can't climb on. Which I think that's hilarious. If you ever find an Omen Tower, just stand on it before you activate it, so that way you can just kill anything that's around you. You know, if you're in a tight pinch. No. Oh, the Dreadnought egg's over there. I need a resupply. Oh, well, here come the bugs. Here I go standing right here. Not letting them attack me. Ow. Oh. Ugh. Acid spitter. You. Come here, Lloyd. Give me that festive spirit to revive me. I love how my engineer looks, by the way. I give him all the pointy bits of, like, the mustaches, sideburns, and the beard. Oh. 
<laughs> and I just, I made it blue. I love the new sapphire color. It looks so good. Oh no. I need, I need nitra. I always seem to do this to myself. I always seem to bring the most least amount of ammo efficiency on elimination missions because I'm like, mm, yes, I'm only going to be fighting the dreadnoughts and nothing else. No bugs will spawn on an elimination mission. Hmm. Nope. Don't let the intrusive thoughts win. Loot bugs, my beloved. Give me the nitra I need. Thank you. And we got a machine event to do afterwards as well. I kind of wish all machine events, when you finish them, they would explode in that purple AOE so that way they can clear out all the bugs that are around you. But I guess, I don't know, it's only certain to some machine events. Uh, there's menaces. You! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and now, just don't be the lame guard, okay? What did I just say, DRG? Alrighty. <laughs> Get him, Steve. There we go. Ow. Ow. Nope. Nope. You're not allowed to do that. Sorry, Steve. I need you to... I need you to kind of move, buddy. You're kind of in the way. Dang, actually, you know, I should have tried EM Discharge on this. So I wanted to see actually how much damage it would do against the dreads. <laughs> Can't do jack all when I'm up here, huh? Pop. Actually, hold on. Mm. Owie! Lloyd, hurry! I mean, Bosco, hurry! I'm so used to bringing Lloyd with me. <laughs> I got the two confused. What did engineer just say? Oh, uh, I thought I was on the I destroy your your ass now. Now I do it. Bop. Goodbye. See you never. I don't ever want to see you ever again, lame guard. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> it's a skinless Steve. Now we got to find the rest of the Eba nuts and also do this too. Oh, yeah, and we got to find the mask too since I scanned that. I'm already down to revise. Oh, God. Uh, Which one is it? Ah, oh, drones, heavy burster, and always, always pulse at the bottom. At least it's not the the Gemini protocol, which is that eyeball one that floats around and it's like, oh yes, I see you. I shoot at you now. Oh, it is. It is the Gemini protocol. Oh, it's just called heavy burster. I thought it was called the Gemini protocol. Okay, never mind. Oh, well, speaking of that. Okay, get out of here. Oh, no. Okay, we got rid of the eyeballs. We just got to get rid of the, 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 the drones. I don't mind the, the pulse. Get them? Cool. All right. I don't mind these breach cutter beams too much since you can just jump over them. Cool. All right. Lost a revive. That's not fun. Okay, then. <laughs> I might die to this, actually. Okay. No. No dying to this. <sighs> well, this is a bit of a of an iffy. Should I leave? Or should I? Okay. You know what? Let's just keep going. Let's just see where this goes. <laughs> yeah, we got to go down this cave. Come here, turrets. We got to go. We just got to be extra careful. <laughs> got to find eight more Eba nuts. Hopefully it's just going to be grunts. I didn't hear any shrimp or any goobers. Uh, that doesn't mean that they still can't spawn in. Good thing swarms can't spawn in during eliminations. Thank God. But, uh, still doesn't mean I, I can't be having a free win here. I just lost all my revives. I was being stupid. Uh, this is what we call playing at, on hard mode. I was acting like a green beard that... Interesting. There's a herald. Oh! Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yep. There's a herald. Mmm. Well. I think it's time to go. Yep. It is definitely time to go. I'm leaving. 
No heralds for me, please, and thank you. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Time to leave. Time to leave. Carl would not be proud. I mean, could I have been the herald? Maybe. I'm stuck. I am legit, legit stuck. What the hell? <laughs> I'm stuck. Here's what we do. Do that. Not fucking cool, SSGs. Molly, get to the drop pod. That's right, I can just stand on this. <laughs> I'm taking no chances. Take the finger, web spitter. Yeah, I'll deposit all my gold first. All right, come back turrets. Woo, we didn't do the secondary. <laughs> oh my God. If I didn't lose that revive, then maybe I I could have stood a chance against the Herald. I've never noped so fast out of a mission. Uh, nice though.